All right, guys, day three, third and final day. If you've been watching our other videos, I'm gonna have one video per day for this trip. So day one, day two, day three. Check out the other ones. It'll be called probably starting around, uh, we started around Walhalla, so there'll be a mention of Walhalla in there. Day two, we started, obviously, that's where we, we started and finished around Walhalla. Day two, we start around one holler and finish down at, uh, we're in, down on Dingo Hill. Just heading onto the Caledonia River track. We've done a few river crossings so far already. Just sort of let you know where we're at. Um, and by the end of the video, in this series of videos, you'll be able to tell if it's a place you should or shouldn't go. Uh, coming down, as mentioned in yesterday's video, coming down Dingo Hill. Very steep and very long. It goes steep for a long time. Very loose and scrabbly. Certainly not recommended for people without experience and all the right gear. Don't go anywhere near Dingo Hill unless you've got experience and you're prepared for a challenge. Yeah, we've just been cruising along the track. I reckon we've done probably about five k's since the uh, camp. As I said, number of river crossings. You're just kind of following along the river. Generally on the flat ground, there's a couple of little hills included. Obviously the usual nice scenery, particularly around looking up and down the rivers, one of them was pretty awesome. Anyway, sorry about the sun in your eyes. So we just thought we'd stop here and show you the kind of campsites that are available. We've just pulled up there. We just check out this chair, mate, someone's made. <laughs> so there's a lot of small campsites, kind of bush campsites. There's certainly no toilets. There's no phone service. There's no one coming to help you anytime soon. There you go. You got a chair. You got some firewood. And that is about it. Generally, I'd say a bit of peace and quiet, but we can hear a 1KD running in the background. And it's a cliff face up there, you can't get out that way. <laughs> cool. Big rocky. Wet breaks from all the river crossings. Nice and slow, does it? Could be some big ones in there you can't see. Not very much water though, which is good. Yeah, another river crossing. It's a pretty cool track, this. It's nice scenery. I'm just, you don't get to see at the moment, but yeah, heap of river crossings. It's very similar, I suppose, to like this part of the track with all the river crossings and that. It's not very, not that many people come down here. I can tell by the grass how it's, you know, it's very, Kind of overgrown, not a really highly used track, see what I mean, down the middle here. Um, there's one cut out of a log, a big tree, a really big tree. Sorry, I should have videoed it. It was a big one. They've cut out, but it's just wide enough to squeeze a Prado through, Prado 150. And, uh, you know, if you had something wider or brush bars, you wouldn't have got through there. So you'd want to have a big chainsaw or no brush bars. Um, um, it's very much like the Crook River track as far as the river crossings go, you know, lots of river, you just go on a long flat, flat track following along the river at the moment. Further up it goes up a steep hill and then along the ridge line. So we'll show you in detail, there's those wet breaks. No shortage of river crossings, quite shallow at the moment, which is cool, I don't mind that, I don't need to go in deep river crossings to prove anything. Awesome scenery, awesome drive. But yeah, getting a bit overgrown, you know, not a super overly used track, and I'd say minimal maintenance. There's some areas where there's some ruts and a bit sloppy and that. If you came here in winter, I think some of the track turns into, you know, literally the Caledonia River track, which is what this is here. I think a lot of it would turn into a river. <laughs> anyway, you can see here, we haven't had rain for weeks and there's still water sitting there in that rut on the right. And we're on a bit of a hill here, who would have thought that's run off? Anyway, all right, another river crossing, you know. I'll take you along the track a bit. Oh, this has got a diff scraper, I better just tell them. Just watch this rock. You can see one in the middle where everyone hits their diff. I'm gonna put my left tire over it to avoid that clunk that a lot of people have been getting. Um, they'll say, yeah, that way it's better. Roger, Roger yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the track. It's pretty, uh, look, it, it does change a lot. It's a nice track. Everybody said, yeah, it's a nice track. So. 
I've just been showing you a few river crossings and that, you know, don't want to bore you too much, but if you're into the scenery and learning about the tracks, like I said, which ones to go and which ones not to, I'm your guinea pig, not just for the people on the trips now, uh, for you guys watching the videos. And like I said, we can organise a trip for you if you want that. We know a little bit of our way around the high country and on a where to go and where not to, and we can make a trip to suit you, you know. Some people, they don't want any damage or pinstripes. Some people want action. You know, all the hardest tracks, they don't mind if it's a bit overgrown, whatever, it runs different. So we can make a trip to suit you. Um, so this is right now, we're driving along, so we've got a big hill on our right. It's almost been like a cliff face for a lot of the way along the river um, on the right side. Not all the way, but quite a lot of it. And there's a lot of flat area, your typical. But I just thought I'd show you a little bit anyway. And I'm moving a bit quicker. Look, we've been cruising it pretty slow. I'll boot it up a bit, faster than what I normally do. Not uh, time lapse. What were you seeing time lapse? It'll be like. But I'll just, it, this part's pretty flat. Uh, pretty comfy cruising through here. A little bit rocky. We've got a couple of loose things, a bit of a rattle around in the back there, but not too bad. Um, I suppose, you know, this is partly what it's like anyway. Uh, a lot of it, you know, a lot of river crossings. Like, we're getting towards the bottom of the big hill, so this could be a bit of action. There is a few boggy parts as well, not too bad, but like I said, it's kind of like the middle. It's still summer at the moment, the end of summer, and we haven't had a lot of rain for the last couple of weeks, so it's quite dry, but we're still seeing it wet. So I'd suggest to stay well away from Caledonia River track in the wet. I've seen some pretty deep ruts, even though it's, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's not the wet time of the year, so it could get, you know, I don't know, I'm not, I haven't been up and down here a hundred times, so I don't know it that well, but I'd say just be careful, yeah? Okay, so, uh, we've heard some stories about these tracks, but you can see how things change over the years, and sorry about the sun, but the old track up on the, the right the there, the old track on the right, it's, uh, kind of goes up there, <laughs> you can't, you probably can't see it, sorry about the sun, not much I can do, but it's been rerouted and sorry yeah. about that i just stopped it so you didn't get too much sun in your eyes but so basically what you got is a whole heap of switchbacks again you know the the hairpin turns to flatten it out because it just gets ridiculous and people do get stuck down these tracks and can't get up because the hills are steep it's just on my right now the old track uh and they've bulldozed it so you can't get up there so it doesn't no longer go straight up they put these switchbacks in i'll show you the rest of the track unless it gets too boring. Um, it's just, we're probably, I don't know, a third, a quarter to a third of the way up this hill. And this is probably good information for anyone that does end up down here because there's three ways down to that, down to that Dingo Hill, down at the bottom of the river there. You can go down Dingo Hill, you can go up, we'll call this Caledonia Hill if you like. And of course, you can go through the link track to Butcher Country. So you could end up Technically, there's four ways you could head in and end up down in that camp area. One, two, three, four, kind of, yeah, there's kind of four ways. And if you want to know the easiest way out, well, at the moment, this way, this hill is looking pretty good. Um, that's all I can tell you at the moment. We'll have to do some other videos on the other tracks and the other ways out another time. But I'd estimate we're pretty close. This, what this track does, the Caledonia River track depending which way you go and the way we're going it follows along the river and then it goes up the hill which is what's happening now and it's a few hundred meters rise sorry about that sun again just put your sunnies on cover your eyes mate think about us we've got to look up this hill and try and see where the track is <laughs> anyway um, it'll be out of your eyes soon enough what was I saying before I was distracted by the sun Mitch do you what was I crapping on about yeah you remember anyway Goes up the hill, yeah, that's it. Goes up the hill, yeah, a couple hundred metres pretty quickly over a distance of about, I reckon, not more than about less than a K probably, which is why I switch back. So you sort of hope that there's no cars coming the other way and try and get around in one hit if you can. But sometimes, although you can make it, as we did, some just make Prado's good. That's what one of the things Prado's Hilux aren't going to make it around in one go. So you just back it up a little bit, mate. Sometimes it's a three, three point turn in a highlight on these sorts of things. But this has been pretty firm ground and a lot better than coming down Dingo Hill. I would have loved to go back up Dingo Hill just for fun. 
But anyway, you get the sun in your eyes. See how I'm courteous of your eyes now? I'm thinking of your eyes and my eyes. Oh, yeah, I've got a sun visor. You haven't, right? So anyway, we've got to think about the poor camera too. It's probably getting cooked in the sun. Although it's not hot yet. We're still looking at about... Give you a timeline. We left camp just a bit before 9. Um, it's now 10 past 10. So about uh, a bit over an hour. With a couple small stops. A bit rocky there. A couple of small stops. Having a look at stuff. You know, getting some water out and having a drone and, you know, things like that. But when I say a K up this hill, it's about probably 800, 900 metres in a straight line, right? But there's a couple of old tracks crossing over each way there that are... So you can find... Gnarly, if you want gnarly tracks, you can find them, right? I just want to... I'm a touring. When you're touring the high country, doesn't mean you're on flat highways, okay? They can be quite, quite rough, and that's what this is all about. Um, but we don't... doesn't mean we're going to take the dirt road every time. We want, tracks are cool, but, you know, normal stuff, not car wrecker type stuff. So that hill, as I've said, six, seven, eight, nine hundred metres as the crow flies up the hill, all right? But because of all the switchbacks, and that's what's happening. We're weaving left and right, left and right. The old track went straight up the hill. And a lot of people, somebody that watches the video or, or a number of people, depending who watches it, and if they cling on that it's the re reality channel, you know, what you can really do and what you can't really do. Accurate information, that's how we roll. There's the old track on the left, Mitch. You're going to look down there. Right, just went straight up the hill. So... You can probably do that if you've got your comp trucks. I reckon a few little good pinches of hill, even though we're traveling along the ridge line now. You're looking at the sky, yeah. I thought I'd just get a bit in there while the sun was uh, sort of. We're headed north, and the sun obviously is you know coming from the east. Uh, so as we headed up the hill, we we're faced east, so it was a bit of a problem, but basically along the ridge line type track now it's quite rocky as in you know it's a bit of a rough ride you know the tracks that are rocky you know when it's sand like this little patch beautiful and then you get onto the and it's kind of like you know a rocky track look we're still on about 25 or so psi 25 26 whatever it is we could let the tyres down to about 20 for a bit more comfort but the comfort level's pretty good I mean you know any rocky track you get a but we're certainly not in a bad way, if you know what I mean. A few bigger rocks there. And this is what I mean. So now we're sort of, even though we're going along a ridge, it's a ridge line with a bit of action as well, you know? Like it's got some hills in it. It's not just on top of the ridge the whole time. It's mainly up and not downs. There's a little bit of downs, but there's mainly ups and there's some loose shaley stuff. What's going on there? My, uh, it was quite loose there. I was turning to the right and the car just kept going left. So yeah, you gotta watch those Grand Trek AT3Gs or any other road oriented tire that looks a bit like it. I can tell you now, they're good, they're good, oh yeah, they're great off-road, they're great, they're great tires, they're great, great stuff, but <laughs> they're not great compared to BFG KO, KO2s, which is traditionally stuff we've been using for years. I know it keeps coming up, but it is relevant. It keeps, you know, each to their own on what you use, but and yeah, join one of our trips and we'll see how those tyres go on the rough stuff. And I'll try not to say, you know, like, you know, do you see what I mean, you know? Anyway, keep going up this hill, up we go. And there is some downhills as well, you know. This is uh, just a little pinch of a fairly steep downhill. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Top of the ridge, lots of views and a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Okay, so we got up the top of Caledonia River track. We hang a left onto Howitt's and uh, about five k's up. We're just out on the Howitt Plain now. It's just a really high, open, clear area. And just over hill here, you will find Howitt Hut. Or maybe not just over the hill, but somewhere around here. <laughs> okay, so here's the turn. You can see the sign, Howitt Hut. In we go. We'll show you the hut and stuff like that. You know, show you the hut. There's a toilet here. Whatever. 
try and find a nice shady spot to park in. There it is. going to be camping in here. If you get uh, caught up in the cold, obviously like a grog shop full of empties. Looks like a bit of water's been running through here. It's a bit wet here. Some visitors, 28th and 2nd, 21. I don't even know the date today. So I roll. <laughs> So we're uh, just heading back to cars for a bit of an early lunch. I heard someone say this track is spectacular, was that you? That's me. It oh, was a spectacular, that track. Uh, what was it called? Caledonia River Track. What did you like yes. about it? I like the, uh, as you get up above the snow line, you got some nice sweeping plains, you got some good views. Um, it's got some steepness and some little bits of trickiness. Uh, so it makes it interesting. How did the vehicle go? As they normally do, spectacular. So, it, piece it, of cake with the BFGs again? I wouldn't no say punch piece of cake, but it's, Oh, yeah, a bit of wheel spin, yeah? Yeah, it's. So, don't let inexperienced people go down there on their own? I wouldn't think or so. Or even no. inexperienced with people, probably I, get a bit of experience I, under I, your belt. I've huh? got a bit of experience, but I would like to do it by myself. Yeah, okay. I think it's wiser to go with someone else. Cool. Glad you enjoyed it. All right, guys, there you go. Bada bing. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe, turn the bell on, give us a thumbs up. What do you reckon, Mitch? Is that it? That's a day? Is that a video? Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, catch you guys. See ya. Thanks for watching.